Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Chris Deacon. I'm back. Uh, I just ended One Piece Chapter 9, 19 of the Ruins of uh, Castle Odin. We'll be going to do One Punch Man now. Since they both came out on the same day and One Punch Man came out a whole lot sooner than I thought it would. Chapter 96, now. Domination is both the best offense and the most supreme pleasure in history. And he's still fighting those two in the battle. So, last chapter, if I can go to the last chapter real quick. The speedy Sandriel. If I go to the last page, apparently they went from disaster level demon to dragon. And I didn't see that. I'm sorry I didn't see that because someone said it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's probably why they brought it up. I didn't see the disaster level increase. They went from demon to dragon. That was my fault. I did not see that. So now they're more powerful. Which would make sense because when you upgrade from monster, you should get a power boost. Fire style. Shattering flash slices. Katon. Sasha Zam. <sighs> They're just ripping apart everything. Let me save this just in case because the bridge getting destroyed here is a really great scene. He was able to fend off my sword technique even through though I'm in monster form. Was it a fluke? No. Heavy flash cut. Juice. Juice on. Oh. The guy's blade cracked. So you're aiming to destroy my weapon? Are you too slow? There's no meaning in speed if you, your feeble brain can't keep up. Keep up. I can see why he was called a genius, just like us. Actually, in the terms of the precision of his technique, flash has a slight edge over us, but the way you're fighting, it's as if you're barely phased by your disadvantage in speed and power. I'm sure that any monster other than ourselves could be completely helpless before your strength. You're still talking as if you outclass me. You're both in the same boat. Gale, wind, hellfire, flame. It goes without saying, but I have full knowledge of all your techniques. I've trained more than anyone else, so it's little wonder. I'm little wonder. The more formidable the warrior, the more faithful they are to their basic style. No matter how fast you may be, if I know the style of your attack, I can easily deal with them. Okay. Is that so? Fine then. It's about time, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We'll stop fighting as ninjas. We don't need any tools or special techniques. We will see to your death as monsters. And truthfully, as Istaris and Friedish as it is, it's equally strong. What about what's about to happen is very simple. We'll make full use of our overwhelming speed and prey on you. We no longer have re reservations about bullying the weak. We've thrown away any remaining pride we have as Shinobi in order to show you our respect to you. We will relentlessly and forcibly attack and kill you with our top speed and we've deliberately kept sealed until now. Once you've learned the overwhelming gap between the strength of humans and monsters, you you are free to die. Farewell, flashy flash. This bridge is just getting torn up. It's 
It's just attack after attack. It's a very fast movement, even from flashy flash in the two. Do you really think you can run away from us at this stage? Don't disappoint me. Whoa. This scene right here of them bouncing off the walls. They're bouncing off the walls and they're moving pretty quick for these attacks. This reminds me of the first time we saw Luffy's uh, Gear 4 Python. Where it bounced off the air just randomly to hit Do, Do Pink Flamingo in the manga. That what this reminds me of. Just I'm just saying. It just reminds me of that. Now, they hit. Flashy flashes, bleeding. Kill him. Flash, kick barrage. Not good. He's going for a follow-up attack. Quickly, we must regain our posure. Killer move. Flash. Sword. Strike. I might save this page, but I'll only have him and the name of the attack, but not show them in the thumbnail being sliced. They, he sliced them both in half. More explosions are just happening. The whole place is just blowing up. Damn it. How irritating. I was simply... No. Oh, if you were hiding such a powerful technique, you should have just used it from the start. It was simply searching for the correct timing to finish you both off at once. I decided that if I had let even just one of you escape, it would create a more bothersome situation for me. If any another S-class hero were to ba do battle with you, or both of you, they would likely have trouble copying your with your speed after all. Your greatest strategy would have been to fight against anyone else but me. That's all there is to it. So you're saying, if you hadn't been our opponent, Coo Coo Coo, you're insufferable. Men to the very end. Assassins can only live in the shadows. They'll never be treated as humans and only exploited. We only wanted to switch to the exploiting side and control the controlling side. In order to grow powerful, we did anything and everything we could think of. So tell me, Flashy Flash, what did we lack? Training. That's really cool scene. Cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> I say that because he's just walking away and the whole place is collapsing behind him. A split in the paths. Where is this place? I suppose I should confirm my present location. Whoa, this chapter was very short. Compared to most of the chapters, that's why it came out so quickly. They're not doing a 90 page chapter anymore. They did 32 pages, which... If they do 32 pages, because most One Punch Man chapters are like 90 to 120 at max, they could definitely put one out every week if they do 30 at a time. Which would be cool, because I think last week was the week that they put out One Punch Man 95. So, we know Flashy Flash won against the two assassins because he used his kill strike move. Just like Saitama would use. Oh, so there's two split paths, but he came. He's walking down one of them already. He's walking down the left lane instead of the right. Otherwise, I'm gonna say nine out of ten chapter. One piece, 
was 9 out of 10 chapter 2 because it's so killer with the thing Oda did at the end. And for One Punch Man, same thing. There's a great, really great section of him just fighting them and obliterating them when they were so cocky, which was cool. And just the scenes and the artwork is incredible. You can expect nothing, nothing less from One Punch Man, though. The art is always incredible. It's just how much we get of storytelling within these chapters. And it's a shorter one, which it's cool because we got a chapter this soon. Either way, we would have had to wait another month. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. If you ever subscribe to the channel, work on the channel, give it content. Otherwise, this has been Miss Crazy. can sign off. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Wherever you are, just have a good day. And hopefully I see you guys next video. Peace.